Hi, my name is Skip McTighe, founder and owner of Safe Water Systems of Punta Gorda, Florida. Our purpose here today is to show you how easy it is to test our ShockGuard 24-7 unit, which is basically a electrified water detection and alarm system. But first, a little bit about the product. This is the product right here. It's small and compact. It's uh, totally independent of any electrical cords or electricity. It's not dependent upon electricity. And it's powered by a nine volt battery, which is built in. So that, uh, this is a bracket for mounting and it should be grounded to a known earth ground. And then we have a terminal strip here will be connected to a ground fault interrupter. And this uh, screw right here on the terminal strip would be uh, have a wire that would be going into the water or touching the water that we're trying to uh, monitor. It's a very simple and easy system. It's 100% solid state. There's no moving parts and it's uh, completely electronic. Now, the first thing we want to do with regards to setting up to test the pool to see if it's electrified is to get a standard uh, circuit uh, tester or outlet tester that you can get at Home Depot for about ten dollars and you plug that into the outlet to make sure that it's uh, properly wired. This is properly wired by the two yellow lights. Now what we have here is we have a, a ground only pigtail uh, attached to the uh, mounting bracket which is our ground connection and we're going to plug that into a known grounded outlet, which this is. In addition to that, we then have our sensor wire, which is attached to the sensor screw on the unit. The first thing we want to do is we want to test the water to see if the water is in fact grounded. So this is our tester unit, and we simply drop uh, the sensor wire in the water, and if the light comes on, which it does, that means that the water is grounded, because Electricity acts differently in water that is grounded versus that that is not. So that in order to test the pool to see if it's uh, electrified, we take our sensor wire and we have this probe at the end, which is uh, silver solder, and we stick it in the pool. If it doesn't chirp, the pool is, uh, is free of electricity. The unit will detect between 1.7 and 240 volts of electricity either AC or DC current. Again, there's no chirp, there's no alarm, therefore this pool is free of electricity. So we're going to electrify uh, this pool by using a 9 volt battery where the hot wire is in the pool and we're going to hook up our, our ground wire. So now that the pool is electrified with a 9 volt DC battery we're going to take our sensor probe and put it in the water. Now you wait about five or six seconds. And the unit starts chirping, which means that it's warning that there's a, the pool is electrified. Don't go in the water. You might get severely shocked or possibly electrocuted. Now we're going to show you how to mount the product and use it permanently as a permanent installation in the pool area. Uh, we recommend highly that you consider installing the unit in the pool equipment section of the uh, pool. What you would do is you would simply mount the unit onto a wall. Now take a one inch stainless steel machine screw and drill a hole at the bottom of the PVC pipe that's on the pool side of the, of the uh, pool equipment and insert this into the the bottom of the pipe so it's exposed to the water in the swimming pool and then attach your sensor wire to this stainless steel machine screw. And that will be the sensing uh, wire and the sensing pro probe that touches the water in the swimming pool. Since the pool equipment area is often far away from the pool itself, you can attach a 12 volt uh, outside a speaker or siren in the 100 decibel range to the unit and it will sound and it's very very loud warning people not to go in the pool it might be electrified or it is electrified to round out our family of products 
This is our multi-guard adapter. This unit will allow the shock guard 24-7 unit to sense four different independent areas uh, of, of a body of water. For example, one shock guard 24-7, using this device as, as an addition to it or option to it, you can sense four boat slips in a marina or four sides of a floating dock in a lake. We then have our sensor for, to see if the body of water is uh, grounded. We have our multi-guard adapter for having four sensor wires in an area coming off of the shock guard 24-7. And of course, we have our shock guard 24-7 uh, product. Safe Water Systems is dedicated to the purpose of preventing loss of life caused by electrocution or electric shock drowning incidences in our recreational waters by offering state-of-the-art warning systems to protect the public against such tragedies. This is a new industry and a new technology that is available now. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a safe day.